So um, here's that video that I made uh, in the previous video. <laughs> here's the loom video that I made. So you can see that I'm I'm on the internet. Um, I went to loom and signed in. And so now it pulled up my account. Um, and this is the screen that you should see once you finished making your video. Um, before you kind of share it with people or so that you can come and make any edits that you want to make. So what I was going to show you how to do is how to trim it. Um, because there might be sections of your video where something was happening that you don't want the students to see, like your cat walked across your keyboard or <laughs> um, you swore because your computer wasn't working properly. So um, also often the beginnings and endings of presentations, there's, you know, some kind of, um, there can be kind of these dead periods in the video that you might just want to clean up and get rid of. So once you've finished your Loom video and uh, you've stopped the recording, it takes you to this page. And then these are the things that you can do with your video. You can, you can copy the link. Um, you can invite people to watch your video. You can add a password so that if people want to see the video, they have to have the password. Um, but we're interested in this uh, area down here. So to trim it, to, to cut out the bits you don't want. In, in video making, it's called trimming, which is a throwback to film when you actually would cut out a section of the celluloid. Um, so you're going to click on trim. And then here is your video. And I'm not going to, again, I'm going to have trouble um, having the full functionality of what Loom can do because I'm making a screencast with a different app of me using Loom. And so usually you would be able to press play here and hear your video and kind of scrub through to get to the part that you want to take out. That's going to be difficult for me because it's using, it's already doing stuff with sound. And so I think if I try to play it. Recording, you're live. Oh, there you go. Um, so what may happen if I... So now I can kind of go to the part that I want to um, trim out. So maybe to you. The reason is that... Let me see if I can find something that I want to trim out, maybe just at the end. Uh, this little square red button over here to stop recording on Loom. I'm going to disappear again at this point because it's going to turn Loom on. All right, let's just, let's imagine that <laughs> clicking and dragging, that right here, my cat walked across my um, computer keyboard. So I'm going to click start trimming. So to get to the, the point where I want to do the, to cut the thing out, I'm just clicking and dragging right through the whole video. And we're going to say right here, something bad happened and I want to cut that out. So I'm going to click start trimming and it pops up this little cutting cutter outer tool <laughs> that has these two sliders on it, one at each end. And basically whatever is, whatever part of your video is between these two sliders is going to get cut out of your video. So it might be just a tiny little bit. So you might want to slide this one right in. And then you could click remove. And we don't, so let's say there was another thing that I wanted to do um, kind of over here somewhere. So I'm, I just clicked on the timeline. This thing is called the timeline. I just clicked on that. Um, I'm going to move it maybe all the way back to the beginning somewhere because maybe there was some stuff happening in the beginning where I was setting myself up and it was recording stuff that didn't need to be there. I'm going to click start trimming again. It gives me another little set of sliders. I'm going to slide that this one all the way to the beginning and let's say just the first few 10 seconds or so of this part. Let's say I want to remove that as well. So I'm going to click remove. So it's still there. It's just when it resaves this video now, it's going to cut those two parts out. So once you've got it, how you've taken out the parts that you don't want, and you're like, this is, this is good now, then you're going to click publish changes. And then this cute little dog rocks his head backwards and forwards as 
um, Loom tries to resave this newer version of your video that's got the, pe the parts taken out. And eventually, once that bar gets up to the top, it'll go back to the image of your video and you will be done. Clearly my internet is very slow. Okay, it should be popping back to the the kind of image that was, oh, there you go. So now that, if I were to play this now, it would play the edited version that, I, that we've just created. Okay, the next video I will show you how to take your new edited video and go put it into Google Classroom. To prepare for that, I'm just going to copy link. And then you should go check out the next video.